Today, we're going to talk about relocation of your settlement in Lord of the Rings Rise to War. How do you do it? Where do you go? And what are the rules that you need to know? Gosh, bless that even rhymed. Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I'm Chiskool Gaming, and you may have noticed there's an item in your inventory. It's a relocation ability used to relocate your settlement once. You can do this, and then the item disappears. So, how do you actually use this thing? How do you actually relocate your settlement? I mean, uh, I've never done this before, but I created a nice little 3x3 three three stretch of land, and if I go here and I push build, I have the option to relocate my settlement. So, sure, what happens if I relocate? It says that I need to choose a 3x3 three three set of tiles that I own. This ability can be issued on a 3x3 three three square of land. It lets you move your settlement to the new location. That's all it tells me. So it also says over here, however, it meets the target's region restrictions. Now, the region restrictions means that you need to be on a chunk of land for which your faction owns the region. Okay, let me show you that. If I zoom out on the map... You can see I'm trying to teleport to this region, which is in a hotly contested zone. I am trying to get close to the action. I hope we don't lose the land and get our get our territory pushed in because they'll be on my doorstep and they'll uproot me and that will be tragic. But I'm leaving, by the way, oh my God, I am leaving a resource paradise. A God tier resource paradise because I have enough resources. I've achieved escape velocity. I'm fine. It's fine. I need to be close to the warring, okay? So I made this little stretch of land. I also have, by the way, a 300 tile here that I'm going to go take. By the way, if you want to know how to take a 300 tile card up in the top, uh, I did a video on how exactly to go do that. I have found, by the way, that those 300 tiles can be very, very, very difficult or sometimes much easier depending on kind of what ends up being there. But I go to build. I hit relocate. Also, it explains the sort of 3 by 3 section here. So it has to be nine one by one tiles. It cannot. There cannot be any two... Two, two by two tiles, okay? The tiles surrounding the three by three location cannot include water, mountains, other settlements, control points, and other locations like crossings and tunnels. And these areas cannot be in conflict. Conflict, by the way, is something when the land is on fire, when there's war happening. And that's maybe interesting. I didn't know that of conflict. Okay, cool. And all armies have to be in standby in your darn city. What a pain in the butt. Now, I have been told that if I do this, there is a 72-hour, a three-day cooldown before I can do this again. But yeah, I'm going to do this thing. Now, I had two relocation items. One of them was seasonal, and that seasonal icon, by the way, means that it only applies for this season within the game, this little icon in the upper right. I hope it will use this one first rather than my one that can be used in any season, but let's find out. Here we go. We tap it. We hit build. We smash relocate. I almost build a fort. That would have been really awkward. And now I push the relocate button. What does it say? After relocation, the settlement will be moved to the designated location. And the land on which the settlement once sat will be lost. Hooray, I'm going to get those nine tiles back. Okay? And I have to actually swipe to confirm that I can only do this once every 72 hours. I'm ready. Take me to my new promised land. Oh. Okay, I'm done. I'm here. We relocated. And that was so easy. It's done. That's it. GG easy, as I say in my videos. And the item used was the seasonal item, which is great. The item that I get to keep is the one that works across any season. Fantastic. Here we are in our new home with the eagles flying high. I've got to go find an eagle's nest to take. Part of the reason I'm here. Also, if we just talk very strategically, I went from like middle of nowhere with like a 30 minute to one hour refresh march, which was gross, to now being right on the front row of the action, baby, which is pretty freaking exciting. That's where I wanted to be. I debated a lot of different locations, okay? And I debated like, do I really put myself next to where I already have a fort and there's an alliance fortress? Like, I don't know, man. But I felt like a pretty safe place to be. I'm trying to get to the front line, Yo, but I ain't trying to sacrifice my city, if you know what I mean. So I have uprooted a ton of cities 
uh, over the last week or two. You get a lot of resources card up in the top if you want to see exactly how to do that. But this, I think, is fully covered how you relocate your settlement. Yes, this is something you have to do in advance. You have to plan this. There's nine tiles that you have to get in a nice little grouping over here in order to be able to do the teleport, which I just did. So you have to plan in advance, and then all your things have to run home. And you can only do it every three days. So choose wisely where it is that you're going. I stayed in my resource-rich location for a very long time because that was very advantageous. And I've got the spot where I can do my mock battling, which is something I need to talk more about in other videos. Card up in the top if you're wondering how to power level your commanders so you can be super high level compared to everybody else. If you found this helpful, throw a like on here, consider subscribing, and until next time, you have fun smashing your enemies, and let me know if there's any other considerations about relocation down in the comments.